What's up guys, so today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Batch Update app in Airtable to update multiple records at once. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize.is and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you, help you optimize your information system so that's some stuff like Airtable for your asset management, for your CRM, Asana for your project management, Slack for your communications. So if you're interested in any services we offer, check out the link in the description, request a consultation from me or someone on my team. Without further ado, get right into the video now. So as you can see here, we are in the sales CRM and Airtable. And just a quick note, you will need to have your apps over here on the right. So I believe this is a pro plan feature. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's a pro plan feature to have any of these apps, although the scripting app is free. Um, but what you'll need to do is come over here to your dashboards. If you don't have a dashboard, make a dashboard. So you can come up here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, it probably has, have, a, have a blue box, but you can create a new dashboard. Um, so we'll just leave this one as the batch update dash import. And so what you want to do is you want to add an app over here and then you want to search up here. So find an app or script the batch update. So right here, you can just click add batch update and we can click add app right here. And then it'll add it into our dashboard over here. So now what you want to do is you want to find the table, find the view that you want to be updating the records in. So that's the first step. And then the second step is adding what you want to be updating. Now in here, you can come in here and you can click add an action. So if I wanted to add the, if I wanted, so if I'm in the accounts table in the all accounts view, and if we look up here, we can exit out of this and see if this is filtered or not. So if you want to do all of yours, uh, I would just unfilter it. Uh, if you want to update all the records. So now we'll come over here and make this full screen again. And then what you'll do is you'll pick your table, pick your view again, and then you'll pick your fields. So maybe I want to uh, refill the first name field. Maybe I also want to add the action to clear the cell contents set the cell value or set cell value randomly. So for us, this first time, I'm just gonna show you how to clear the cell contents. So this is just gonna be in this first one right here. So now if we exit out of this, we can click update records and we can see there's no records in here now. So we can click done over there and you can see 18 records were updated. So that's awesome. Now what we might wanna do is maybe we want to refill some of those. So if we come back in here and edit this, we can set the cell value. So what you would do now is this is where you would set the cell value for what you wanna update everything with. So if I do this, it's going to completely mess up the table because this should be a unique identifier, but in this case, they're all gonna be the same. So this is just gonna be a quick test. So I can click done here and then update those records again. So now you can see all of these are tests and it's a terrible unique identifier. It's the least unique thing ever. But now I'm going to show you the last one, the last action over here. And this is also dependent on the type, uh, the field type that you're updating. So if I come over here and click set cell value randomly, you can see for text type, there's a few different random values that you can use. So you can do a random first name, last name, full name, email, or random value from a column list. So I think probably the most complex one is this. So if you want to do your custom list, you would come in here and enter your random values. So maybe we want to do ace tube. Maybe we want to do bear paw solutions. And then maybe we also want to do optimize IS. So now we can click done and we can update those randomly. So if I come in here, these will all be one of those three. So you can see that that's all they are. So that's what the random does. Now, say you had like a number, um, you wouldn't get all these options down here, but you can also just do like an email. So it emails a unique identifier. So hopefully it would make them all unique, ideally. Although I can't say that it would definitely do that. Uh, um, I guess it's close. It might be. Um, we, can, we can group it. Well, actually, I don't know if you can group it by unique identifier, by a primary field, but so say you have a number in here. So one of the fields that I know is a number is I believe it's the size. So if I come in here to the size and I pick an action and I set these cell values randomly, it's not gonna give me all those options. It's just gonna give you a random number in there. 
but I can click done here and then update those records. And then if you come down here, you'll just have to imagine that all of these are changed, which they should be wherever that's at. So that must be a hidden field. So I'll come down here and unclick size. Oh, so size, you can see size is just a multi-select. So that's, it'll just randomize your multi-select values in here. So now if I come in here and do a number, so if I have just any number field in here and I want to do this, I can just create that field there and then I'll come in here and change this. So if I go full screen again and we'll do the number field. So the number field gives you all these different options. So you can divide by, multiply by, uh, increment, decrement, set to random number between. So you could set like, this is how you could do maybe some uh, modeling, some forecasting is using this, this is essentially the same as like a RAND function in Excel, uh, which is incredibly powerful. So you can set some random numbers between two numbers, set to a number, or again, clear the cell contents. So maybe we'll come in here and we'll set it to a random number between, I don't know, let's say 20 and 2,500. And so if we could click done there and then update those records, you can see it has the decimal, so it's perfect, it's a number, and I added all, all that in there. So that's the basics of how to use this app over here, the batch update app. If you have any questions, I'd love to see them in the comments. If you have any specific examples of what you wanna see updated in here, then I would love to hear that. If you only want to update specific records, then what I would do is I would come up here and throw a filter so that you find the records that you specifically wanna update so if it's like a few people in, um, like if it's a sales CRM and you're in the opportunities table, maybe it's just the people that are like closed loss status. So if we come over here and we filter this to just the closed loss status, we can just update specifically them. So we can up, you can pick which field you would want to update but that's how you would filter it to be just a subset of all the records that you want to update. The one, the one uh, promo that I'm going to do here is this video right up here in the end screen. Most people never learn this trick and they never use this page designer app correctly. So this video up here is going to show you how to optimize your page designer app, how to make it longer, how to make it more pages. So it's really a, a hidden secret in Airtable. Uh, not many people know about it. And in this video, I show you all about how to use that app. So without further ado, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Go click the link in the middle of the screen to get that video.